What a joy to be here with the daughters of the king and also the kings in our lives. And so to each one of you, mwah, mwah, give your neighbor a high five and say, Jenny says hi. It is indeed my joy, pleasure, and privilege to be here with you this evening. And uh, allow me to just say congratulations to the founders of Evolving Women, Evolving Women. What a joy, what a pleasure. Clap for them, clap for them. All right. For you to have come this far, this is indeed the doing of the Lord, and it is marvelous in our eyes. There are many businesses that begin. There are many organizations that start, but there are few that evolve to be where you are today. And to be able to see your fruit, I think is absolutely exciting. Allow me to acknowledge my friend Joyce Gekunda, the founder of Linton's Beauty World. Thank you for coming along with me and for making these women look beautiful. If you think I look beautiful tonight, kudos to the team of Linton's Beauty World. Joyce has been a girlfriend of mine since we were young. And I'll tell you a little about that in just a minute, but allow me to also acknowledge uh, Patricia uh, Murugami, uh, my friend, my sister, my daughter, my mentor, my coach, and Breakthrough. If you have not gone through Breakthrough Leadership, I want you to know that you must get a taste of it. I met Pamela in uh, Patricia's, one of the Patricia's forums um, at uh, Kempinski, you know, where... President Obama had his time where he spent the night when he was in Kenya. Those are the standards of uh, breakthrough. Talk to me, somebody. And so, clap for Patricia. A and so, it is uh, truly beautiful to be here and to have them. For the men in the house, ladies, I want you to shout for the men. Very good. We love to see you, and indeed, it is absolutely wonderful to have you here tonight. To all the evolving women, all right? To the, all of the evolving women, clap for yourselves. I never heard you. I didn't hear you. Well done. The one thing I've learned in life is to affirm yourself. If you're asked, are you present? Say, I am. Even before you know what they want with you. Say, I am here. I am here. Allow me to let you know that the king is here tonight. The king is here tonight. The king comes where he is, invited, and the king is has been invited here. So we are going to have the banquet with the king. It's not every day that you have a banquet with the king. But even as we have this banquet with the king, a lot of thoughts come to my mind as I look at you sitting there on the table. There's one thing that I know, that each one of you has come to the king for a different reason and a different purpose. We serve the King of Kings whose grace is sufficient in our lives. You don't need 12 months to prepare yourself today. You just need to be ready to meet the King tonight and you will meet him. I'm here tonight so that I can be able to not only have an opportunity to network with you, to find someone that I can just enjoy fellowship being with tonight, but also that I honor Pamela, Maureen, their ministry and their partners for what they are about to do. It's not every day that you get to write a book. It's not every day that you get to launch a book. And so allow me to let you know that I was not born with intellect. I have learned it along the journey because of the people that I have encountered with. 
I was not born a grandmother. Tonight, I'm a grandmother of many children and a mother of several children. Tonight, I will let you know that I have danced, slept, and enjoyed my relationship with a great man for the last 45 years. Tonight, uh -huh, tonight, don't just think I have a head. I have more than that. I have done great things in my life because of women like you that have mentored me to be where I am. So don't take this mentorship lightly. I am here to let you know that as a woman, I was one day young. You look at me and see a grandmother. I don't see that grandmother. I see this beautiful woman who is evolving every single day. Uh-huh. I want you to know that one day I was 20 years. Who is here that is 20 to 29? Are you here? You're 20 to 29? Can I see by a show of hands? Life is just opening for you, beloved. It is a great place for you to be. I remember myself at that age. At the age of 17, I walked down the road and I said, I'm looking for a man because I'm done with my mommy. I'm done with my dad. I want to find a life. They are boring. I found somebody. At the age of 19, I was married. Talk to me, somebody. At the age of 23, I was a mother of three children. Don't commit suicide, I tell you. It is committing suicide. That was a bit early. But I want to let you know that this age is the age of trying out things. What are you trying out? Trying out a bit of alcohol, trying out a bit of sex, trying out something that's going to get you hooked. I want you to know this is the time you need a mentor in your life so that you try out the right things with the right direction. You better show up at Evolving Woman each time so that you will become who God purposed for you to be. All right. Now, do we have a 30 to a 39? Very quickly. 30 to 39. I have? All right. 30 to 39. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Here they are. Oh, wow. Are they not many? Fine, this is absolutely marvelous. marvelous. Now, media team, if you are here, you know the song that this ones enjoy. I want you to come right here and let's just have a song. Please play a song for them so that they will know we know their struggles. At 30, start coming. Start coming very quickly. Start coming. Media team. Put a song you know that the 30 to 39, uh -huh. come, come on. Jerusalem, Ikayalami, Ilondolose. You are in a season that can be very turbulent. It's the career, it is the man, it is the children, it is community service, it is many things. Learn to enjoy your season. All right? At 40 to 49, begin to come as I speak. So that 40 to 49, begin to come. Even as I speak, these ones, give them they know who they are. You, you don't mess up with these ones. They know who they are. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> Chosen generation We've been called for To show his excellence hey, All I require for life God has given me and really are fabulous Clap for them as they sit Clap for them 
they are fabulous. They are in their best season of the, the, their, their life. All right? They know what they want, how they want it, what it is that they need to do, they know. But sometimes they don't do what they are supposed to do because they are overwhelmed with their wounds. Are you 50 to 59 and you are here? My God, evolving woman is all across the spectrum. Are you 50 to 59? Clap for our queen mothers. Clap for our queen mothers. All right. Give them a good one, media team. Whatever you give them, give them some good music here. Clap for them, clap for your band. Uh -huh. These are the queen mothers. Clap for them nicely. Uh -huh. They carried you in their womb. They gave birth to you with a measure of pain. They raised you, and because of them, here you are. I mean, that season, clap for them. So if you're 50 to 59, you're going through a very beautiful season that is quite fiery. The hormones are up there. You are sweating all the time. Uh -huh. The mood swings have become the order of the day. Uh -huh. And so the 40s, you better learn from the 50s how they have coped with it. The 60s to 69, I belong to that category, is the season of sizzling. I mean sizzling. Uh -huh. Am I hot or what? No children, no mortgage, no husband to ask me, where are you coming from at this time? Because I graduated, <laughs> it is the best place to do not be afraid. The older you get, the more freedom you get, the better you become, the more money you have. Now, ask me what I can give you. Not you who give me, ask me what I can give you. Been there, done that. Okay? So, that's what it takes to be 66. You're unapologetic. I say I want everybody to live purposefully, love passionately, and thrive unapologetically because you deserve it. Now, let's go to the message tonight very, very quickly. My message this morning is what Jesus said even to the beautiful girl, Talitha. He said, I say to you, arise. I say to you, arise. What is your situation? Are you feeling dead in the spirit? Are you feeling burnt out? Are you stressed? Are you anxious? Are you experiencing some challenges in your life today? And so, I say to you this evening, arise. As you arise, I'm using the name acronym, Arise as the acronym, so that when you ask, what did Jenny tell us? Jenny said, arise. Say, arise. Arise. The time is here for this reason. The A stands for authority. God has given you authority, not only to arise, but to succeed in anything that you put in your mind. You got it. You got it. God says, ask and you shall receive. Uh -huh. What is the desire of your heart? He will say, I will grant you the desire of your heart. You have the authority to speak a blessing upon you and to take action. The R in the arise is about resilience. You've got to be resilient. You have to have tenacity. You've got to, to go knowing I have what it takes to win this. It's all about a mindset. And it's not about looking at what has failed in the past. But knowing for sure that this is what I am desiring for myself. Uh -huh. 
And let me tell you, those days, those Ugandan women were full in Nairobi. And you know how beautiful you are. Our husbands were not coming home. Every man had a Ugandan girlfriend. Every man in those days. It was the days of Idi Amin. You were not born, so you have no idea. But let me tell you, there is nothing as difficult for a woman to see the light, another light, and husband has never come home. I am a one of them, and I can tell you, I have raised champions for children. You have to know your season. You need to look beyond the man. You need to see the king of kings. Uh, yes. I. What do you think I is? I is influence. Is influence. Now, my question to you tonight is, what is your power of influence? And who is influencing your life? All right? Patricia will tell you she is there. She was the dean of executive education, dealing with CEOs, all the directors, and big people. And she's a small girl. The power of influence. When she tells you, come to Strathmore Business School, we've got this ed business uh, executive education. She invited me. She never knew that I'd come, but I never forgot. That's influence. I have influence. I can open big doors. Pamela has influence. She can open big doors. The person on your table has influence. They can open big doors. Why do you want to lose on that opportunity? Before you go home, know what the next person is doing, who they are, they may open for you levels on influence you have never seen. I have seen influence. I have seen power. I have been invited to state house, not because I deserved it. The phone is ringing. Uh -huh. I don't know the number. I'm busy. I have so many calls. And then messages coming. Finally, I looked and the phone was ringing. Uh, Jenny, where are you? Can you come to state house now? Uh -huh. Your gift will put you before kings and queens. You will not make an application for where you are going. It will find you in your house. I can tell you this. If this little girl married at 19, at 30 fed up, and now at 66, is making waves, what about you? What about you? I am too old. I am feeling now I have retired. I actually got there. I, had, I felt after 50, I'm done. However, a friend of mine came looking for me and said, what? I, said, ah, 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 ah. I just want to play with my grandchildren and I'm done. I don't want anything. I don't even want to play golf. I'll come occasionally. Said, I will pick you from your house. We are going to play golf. And I will tell you this. You, ba Mambo Badu. Know that one? Mambo Badu. I was beaten by this menopause syndrome. I was beaten by feeling I am useless and good for nothing. And let me tell you, she sent me to a Serena Hotel in Nairobi to do what? To see a lady who had come to town just to be a motivational. She was, at that time, that lady was 75 years old. My God, she had a little black dress like this one of Maureen. Mm-hmm. She didn't have the flap, just the little red uh, black dress with high shoes. I mean, she was rocking, rocking, rocking. 75, I said, my God, I'm a teenager. From then, I went back to the market. What am I saying? Who do you need to visit? A friend of mine visited me, and she breathed life into me. Say, arise. The time has come. You are not yet done. God has not finished with you. You can do better, greater, and so on. The S in Arise is about your seasons of life. We began by recognizing what season that you are in. And now you know. So if you are 30, forget about saying me, I'm walking out. <laughs> Enjoy your relationships. Expand your scope. I'll tell you what I discovered. I give my husband too much attention. I make him the king. I don't even want to see my girlfriends so that I can just kiss and have, and have him on my side. Listen to me, girl. Your husband will be so fed up of your complaints every day. 
You need a mind to open and know what is happening in the north, what's going on in the east, the west, the south. Go! But you have to be trusted. So what is your problem? I'm not allowed. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Build confidence through trust and you will earn your freedom. Tell your neighbor you deserve to be trusted. Finally, beloved, in Arise, what is the final one? E. What is E? Huh? Evolve. You need to evolve. You cannot continue staying where you are. It's not status quo. Who you were yesterday should not be who you are tomorrow. Every five years, you need a major evolution. So if you are in the same job five years later, if you are in the same position five years later, if you are still saying I'm broke five years later, if you are fed up of your charma five years later, if you are fed up of your church five years later, you are stuck. What we do is help individuals understand the gap that they're experiencing between feeling stuck and becoming unstoppable. So if you're feeling stuck, you need to reach out to someone who will ask you very tough questions and help you to think. And so, beloved, are you going to arise? The A stands for? The R stands for? The I stands for? The S stands for? And the E stands for? You have 100% responsibility to evolve and become what the king desired for you to become. If you can, yes, clap for yourselves. I want to let you know we all don't go in the same pace. Pace yourself. Say, tell your neighbor, pace yourself. Don't try and come at my pace. Now, as you pace yourself, if you can fly, fly. Say with me, if you can fly, if I can fly, fly. If I can run, run. If I can walk, walk. If I can crawl, crawl. But by all means, I will keep moving no matter what. You are a daughter of a king. And I want to let you know, I love being a princess of the heavenly kingdom. Nothing is greater than that. I love my encounter with the king. And I will say to you, even as I close, that if you do not have a personal relationship with the king, you're missing out on the greater cake. I will say to you, find the king. Prepare to meet the king. And as you meet the king, your life will never be the same again. You will be loved by your husband. You will be respected by the community. Doors of opportunity will open around you because you will be confident of your heritage and your identity. And God bless you. Amen? Each one of you, I, I looked at this and I asked about what's all this about the Imara Women's Center. And it was very interesting to see. Oh, you are here? Yes, say that again. Yes, Imara Women's Center. And I went through the brochure and I thought, oh, wow, what a beautiful organization that supports women and also for Yes, well done. Clap for them, clap for them, clap for them. And kudos to Evolving Woman for choosing to partner with these. We are changing the trajectory of women. We are making every woman a riser. And so if you go home and when you go to work, talk to another woman and tell her what you learned here. Because knowledge acquired and not utilized is sterile. If you don't talk about what you learned, it will evaporate. If there is one thing you learned tonight, share it with somebody else and the Lord will bless you and you will continually grow in every aspect. May the Lord bless you. May he watch over you. May he bless the works of your hands. May he illuminate your path. 
May he bless your children that they will be great and mighty in the land. May he grant you the desires of your heart. May you experience him like never before. May you, your brokenness be turned into gold so that at the end of the day, you, like Pamela, like Maureen, like many others who are here, will become the shapers for women in the next generation. God bless you.